to take a few minutes and talk about trust today. Um, trust in your relationships. Maybe trust in yourself too. We'll, we, I don't know. Maybe we'll get there. But uh, there's three ways in my mind that trust really happens. The first one is trust is given. Sometimes uh, we decide to jump in a taxi cab or we call an Uber and we, we get inside the car with somebody and you actually don't really know if you can trust them. You are hoping you can trust them, but you just give them your trust. And you're also trusting that they're going to take you to the place that you want to get taken, not the place that they actually want to take you. And so trust happens like that. And there's a lot of uh, different examples. And you could probably look at your life and go, where do I just need to give trust in my life? So that's the first one. The other one is trust is built by repeated success. So when I successfully listen to you, when I successfully um, show up on time, when I successfully communicate with you, you begin to learn, okay, this person or myself or uh, this environment is trustworthy. It's repeated success over and over and over. And so if you're in a place where you're like, ah, I'm not sure if I can trust somebody or I don't know why I don't trust this environment, there's probably not a, a lot of repeated success there. So you can take some time and look at that. The last one is, I like to say trust isn't built by the absence of mistakes but trust is built by how we clean up a mess. And basically what that means is we don't all want to have to live in a perfect world and be perfectionists. Um, when we have to live in a perfect world, we create way unhealthy expectations, but it, a really beautiful thing happens when I know or when you know that you can fail and clean up a mess and make it better than what it was before. And that's really the story of our life. Life is one big success, fail, learn from the fail, learn from the success, repeat that over and over again. And obviously I'm not talking about moral failure, things like that, because that really erodes trust um, and that's really hard to recover from. But even that, even moral failure, I've seen a lot of marriages better than before after falling morally because of how they rebuilt the trust. Um, in, in the actual things that they did. But here's a couple of things to think about when you're trying to build a platform, uh, when you're thinking through, what do I need in order to build trust with a person? The first one that comes to mind to me is, do they know your story? Do they know your story and can they handle it? Now, I'm not saying on your first date, share your whole entire story, blow them out of the water and see what happens. Um, I can tell you what will happen. Either one, you'll get an incredibly false sense of intimacy because they'll accept all of you and they shouldn't. Or two, you'll get rejected and you'll get what you expected and maybe what you believe is that you're rejectable. That's why you do that. So share what's appropriate. Share what's appropriate. How do you know it's appropriate? Uh, to the level that you have trust for them is the level that you should be intimate with them. So on a first date, you're sharing your story about, I don't know, what you like to do. You like to fish, you like to hunt, you like to play in a rock band, you play the air guitar, incredible. Whatever it is, you start to share your life story and you see how they react to their story. The other thing is, what do they share with you? What, are they actually giving back? You know, if you're in a relationship and, and somebody isn't giving back to you, they're probably not super trustworthy. They can't match your level of intimacy. The other thing that I look for in a relationship when building trust is, do they respect me? Do they actually know how to do respect? Do they respect their parents? Do they respect their peers? Are they talking negatively um, about the relationships that they have? Are they telling you secrets that they probably shouldn't be telling you? Uh, right away you can tell, if they tell you something that they shouldn't be telling you, they're probably gonna tell something about you that they shouldn't tell. Um, and then honor, we're, we're looking for honor. And again, we don't give honor to people because they deserve honor. We give honor because we are honorable. You know, someone can do something against you and they don't deserve honor technically, but we give honor. We always give out of what we have, not necessarily what somebody is giving us. And so I think that it's really important that you take some simple things and you go, how do I start to lay a foundation of trust? Only give to the level of intimacy that you have. Only do that. Don't share your whole life story. The other thing, make sure that they can handle your story, your failures, 
and your successes and that they can accept you. In small doses, you're gonna grow that. Uh, make sure that they know how to do respect and honor. How they treat other people will be how they treat you. And so just begin to cultivate a life where you find relationships that can handle that, where you can build with people that are like-minded and are actually going after the same goals in relationship. And you'll begin to build levels of trust with people that you didn't think you could. Find people with the same target, the same goal in mind.